Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you seven things that you can prep for your classroom over the summer. If you are new here, my name is Molly Malloy. I am a fifth grade teacher in Southern California. You can also follow along on Instagram at Lessons with Laughter, where I share teaching tips, classroom organization ideas, and more. Let's get started. The number one summer project that I recommend to prep for your classroom for next year is a teacher toolbox. This is what mine looks like. And as you can see, it's the perfect place for just storing all those small random things, push pins, paper clips, um, markers, <laughs> white out, anything like that, that easily gets lost in drawers or in bins. These are ones that I made with old scrapbook paper and then I printed out the um, the different items, backed it on black paper, and then glued it to the scrapbook paper. I got the actual toolbox at a local home improvement store, but they are also available on Amazon. I will link a few options below. The second summer project, which is perfect to get ready for your classroom ahead of time, is some type of like check-in, check-out board or attendance board. The one that I use in my classroom is from my friend Kristen at Ladybug's Teacher Files. When my students enter the classroom, they move their name from the home section to the classroom section so that I know who's there for the day. There's also a section for tardy if they are late. And then throughout the day, if they have to go up to the office or go see the nurse, they'll move their name over to that section. Of course, they still ask for permission, so I know that where they're going, but it's just a really good quick reminder. Um, if you are like me and you have students out of your classroom frequently for groups or different things, um, it's a really great way to keep track of your students and where they are. And it's also a really easy way to take attendance for the day and it's perfect to prep ahead of time. I'll link the whiteboard that I used below. I actually used two of them, but you can easily print out, laminate, cut all the letters, and tape them on wherever you want them. And then once you get your class list in the fall, then you can go back and print out the names. But it's definitely helpful to prep it ahead of time so it's ready to go when you start back to school. My third project to prep over the summer is to really start thinking about your bulletin boards in your classroom. So in my classroom, I actually have two full walls that are completely tackable, which is amazing. And so I really had to put a lot of thought into where I wanted my bulletin boards, how long I wanted each of them to be. And so I had measured everything before we left school for the summer. And then over summer, I went shopping for fabric and borders. So on my bulletin boards, I actually use fabric. I've used it for the past several years and it holds up so much better than paper. It doesn't get rips and holes and tears in it. It does not fade as easily and you have so many more color choices. And so most of the fabric that I picked up is from Joanne Fabrics and I went, I made several trips just to find all the colors that I wanted. Then I could easily like hold up all the colors next to each other to see if they all looked good together, if they all went together. And then in addition to picking out the fabric, Fabric. I also like to plan out what I'm going to put on each bulletin board every year. It, I change it around every year so my bulletin boards don't say the same, but it's nice to have a plan ahead of time going into the year so that way when I do get back into my classroom, I can quickly put things up on my bulletin board. So part of that, the other thing I like to do over the summer is to cut out my bulletin board letters. So I cut mine out using a Cricut. I will link the one that I have in the description box below. It makes it so so easy to cut out letters. You can do any fonts that you want and it gives you so many more options than just buying pre-cut letters or having to cut your own letters by hand. The fourth project that is perfect to do over the summer is painting a map for your classroom. So you can see my map here. I did this as a project several years ago. It took me two days to do this project. I have a whole blog post with instructions. I will link that below, but it was just a fun way to customize a map for my classroom. When I was looking for maps, I did not really find any that I liked or that fit with my classroom theme. And so it was just a super fun way to customize the map for my classroom. And not only does it look nice, but my students and I reference it all the time. 
The fifth classroom project that is perfect to do over the summer is to get your student mailbox system all prepped and ready. There are so many different options you can use for this. I know some people use hanging files for student mailboxes. I actually use these for my mailboxes. I got the top one from a teacher who was retiring my first year of teaching and I've used it every year since. When I switched schools and had larger class sizes, I had to add additional mailboxes below. Both of these are available on Amazon. I will link them down below. But the thing that makes these work so well for student mailboxes is I have student numbers on each one. So I created, this is another summer project that I did several years ago where I created these um, clips. All I used is binder clips and then I printed out numbers for them and mod podged them onto the clips and let them dry and then they work perfectly for the mailboxes. I also have the numbers that I used available for free in my store. I will link that down below if you want to use similar ones. If not, it's so easy to create your own. You, you can cut them out with your Cricut. You can play around with your own number template and fonts in PowerPoint. But it's super nice because these last from year to year. I don't have to relabel them every year. If you have students who come to your classroom late throughout the year or who leave, you don't have to do a lot of switching around with names throughout the year. So I love having my student mailboxes numbered for my students and ready to go from day one. Project idea number six is labeling your classroom library books. I talked about how I label and organize my classroom library books in this video right here, but no matter what organizational system you use, summer is the perfect time to print things out and label your books so that as soon as you can get back into your classroom, you can set up your library quickly and easily. The next summer project idea is prepping your supply or organizational bins. Whether you are a first year teacher that is shopping for all new organizational bins, or if you've been teaching for several years and you just kind of want to update your organizational system, summer is the perfect time to do that. Labels are such an easy way to update your organizational system. And there are so many different labels available on Teachers Pay Teachers, or you could also create your own labels for your bins but just figuring out kind of what types of materials you want in each bin and how you want it to look. Then you can print, cut, and laminate all the tags so that way they are ready to go. I hope these project ideas are helpful for you if you're looking for some things to do over the summer to prep for your classroom when you go back. If there are any other classroom projects that you are doing this summer, let me know down below in the comments. I am always looking for ideas. If you like this type of video, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you don't miss any future videos and I will see you next time. Bye!